everyone. So in today's video, we're going to go through creating architectural drawings from a Rhino 7 model. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to our channel if you're interested in architecture and design content and various 3D tutorials. And if you haven't seen the previous videos, feel free to look at part one and part two of uh, 2D and 3D modeling of Weekend House by Ryu Nishizawa. So just pulling up where we left off, we've 3D modeled the house and now trying to see how we can begin to extract some drawings out of it. So one of the first things we could look at is uh, maybe looking at the elevations and pulling some 2D line work out of that. So what I would do is actually create a new set of layers, making sure that it's the parent layer. So kind of hit this. Uh, arrow to make it sure make sure it's at the outermost kind of section and then I'm going to rename it to 2d and then I'll make a sub layer called maybe elevations say and for ease let's just make it orange so it's easier to see and I'll make that the active layer so now if I go to my you know left or right view I can say select everything um, I can type in make 2D. This is the right view uh, using the view that I've selected. And let's say group output. This is just like the type of lines that you're going to extract. You could show hidden lines, so everything kind of beyond. In our case, it's an elevation, so we don't want to do that. Um, and I think that's it. So I'll call it um, let's say ele right elevation for example, hit OK. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to load and it always brings it to the top view. And this is what you see. So actually it's kind of shared what the right elevation looks like. So you can see it has the door and kind of has these um, walls showing as well. Let's go to the left view. You could do the same, make 2D. left now you can see that's the view being shown it's on its own set of layers so that's great um, set view let's say front select I'm gonna just gonna select the lines here actually I don't think I even need to do that oh, okay select objects to draw select everything um, I can actually switch the elevations off just so I don't select those. Then I'll hit enter. And I'll call it front elevation. So now you see that. You see that window, the windows we drew, so that's great. And then lastly is the rear. So set view or back, back elevation quickly turn that off and then select the model and then again make 2D called back elevation. Alright, so this is just simple line work. Um, and the colors are based on the kind of uh, layers that were modeled out. But again, it's a quick way to get some basic line work and you can always clean it up in a program like Adobe Illustrator or um, in a previous video, we also went into how to print with various line weights. So you can set up all these drawings on different sheets and then um, and then bring it to another program. So you can see there's the front elevation, the left elevation, 
So let's just move these down so that when we reveal the other drawings, they're just, uh, let's say, not in the way. And then, okay, so here are all our elevations. Kind of neatly put together there. And I'm just going to arrange it on the side. And then the next thing um, is common is sections, right? So um, let me just see if I can create a section layer. I'll move it under the 2D layer. Just make it like a red. And um, again, you have a 3D model already, so we can actually extract section lines out of it. So if you type in section, select objects for sections, so we're going to select our model objects, and then we'll hit enter. And then start of the section, let's just say down the middle, right here. And then there you go, it's kind of created and generated those lines. And then you can hit enter when you're done. And then we could, for example, move it here. So that would be um, some section lines. So you can see what that looks like in the front view. You can you can see all the sections through those like wood slat elements. Some of the um, columns that are beyond and just like the walls and the floors. So it's actually, again, very simple way of getting the line work. And then you kind of have to uh, develop the line weights and um, possibly fill the areas that are being cut. So filling this in black, uh, the walls and the floors. So again, very easy way to generate some basic line work. We could try that again. Let's hit section, select objects for section. Um, We'll just choose the model here, hit enter, and then let's cut another section, but this time the other way. I like to make sure that my perpendicular is on uh, or ortho. So then we have a perfect vertical cut. And then we'll hit enter when we're done. And then again, we'll, let's say, move this. If we switch this to the, let's say, right view, we maybe want to move it. So that's what it would look like there. You can see the, this is where the courtyard is, right, cutting through there. So that's why there's like a gap in the ceiling. So that's an interesting section. You know, you can see the courtyard, maybe there's some grass and there's light coming through, as well as the wood slats. Um, one easy way, if you want to transfer this into the top plane, you could do make 2D and then call it, you know, section two. And then there's your section, right? And that'll be there. Um, another way is you could simply rotate it, right? You could rotate, go to say this view, rotate it down, and now in plan, you have it there. So uh, just whichever way you think is faster is your preference. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So the simple way to make sections, I'm just going to turn that um, off. So the last thing I want to show you is an exploded uh, axonometric. So I'll make that the active layer make it say purple. And I'm just going to turn off the section and maybe I'll turn off all these views as well. Again, I'll make it uh, say under the 2D drawings layer. But for the exploded AXA, what we are going to begin to do is you know, sometimes I like to just make a copy of the model. 
So I just made a copy right here. And the reason why is we're going to have to pull this uh, apart. So I want to make sure that we still have the original model in place. So say I collect, selected the roof. Or maybe I'll just I'll try to grab everything here. Right? Better grab just the ceiling elements. And let's just move that vertically. Right? Um, maybe we'll do the same with the uh, floor elements. Actually, let's just turn those off. We'll turn off the 2D line work, right? And then I'll, I selected the floor, just pulling that down. Here's a wall. Maybe you want to select the wall, pull that up across. Oh, just going to deselect that. I'm trying to grab this wall, and then I'll pull this out. Um, I'll do the same for these elements. So this wall, pull that out. Again, I'm kind of looking at the perspective view as well. See, you know, is that roughly what I want it to to look like? Right. Maybe I want to pull this apart more. And then there's these glass. Um, glass pieces. I don't know if these are duplicates or I think they're just duplicates, so I'm just going to delete that. And then there's these um, additional wall elements. You could pull them out. Again, we might want to space this out more. So I'll just pull it apart further. Okay, so let's say roughly that's, I like that. Now let's set the view to isometric and let's see what southeast looks like. So we can always do an isometric kind of view. Again, maybe I want to pull this apart more. looking at this view. Let's say something like that, right? So again, set view isometric SE. So that looks pretty good, and I think the floor should be pulled out more. Right, something like that, right? And once we're happy with it, let's say make 2D again. We'll call it exploded axo. And if you look at the top view now, it's all your lines. And again, you could go into Illustrator, export this as a DWG file, go file. Um, export selected, make sure that it's a DWG file, call it exploded axo, 
So you can pull that up in AutoCAD or Illustrator and make that a drawing. So I can just call it Loaded Axo here. And then I'll just save it in this folder, for example, and then uh, hit Default's OK. Again, we can always fix it up, the line weights and um, whatnot in those programs. So again, this is a very basic way to generate that 2D line work, and then you can always go into post-processing to make it look better. Another way is you can always do an exploded axo in perspective. Sometimes those look even more fun. So um, again, it's just a matter of choosing the view that you like. You know, do I want to bring this down um, a bit more in this case? Once you pick a view you like, you can go set view, names views. You can create a new view, call it exploded perspective. So if I ever like spin around and lose it, I can always go back. Right, current viewport. And then again, you select all your objects, make 2D, exploded AXO to and again, it's now in um, now in your top view plane. And again, you can go to File, Export Selected, Exploded Axo Two. Okay. All right. So I hope you got some value out of this video. If you like the content you're seeing, feel free to subscribe to our channel for future videos on Rhino Seven, 3D modeling. Uh, architecture and design and uh, make sure that you comment below what did you learn today is there anything that you weren't sure about um, feel free to ask some questions below until then see you in the next one